Swinburne University of Technology. In this video, we're going to look at how to do a simple linear regression in R. So we're going to use the uh, cars data, the speed and the distance. Uh, we can have a look at those in a scatter plot. So if we go speed uh, and distance, remember the uh, distance is actually a stopping distance, so not surprising it'd be a function of speed. And we'll go over and we've got a scatter plot. It kind of looks vaguely, vaguely like a straight line. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to fit normal regression um, and we just give it a name, doesn't matter what name um, we want something ideally it doesn't clash with any function names uh, we're going to use the LM function and so we want distance and then tilde so it means as a function of and distance as a function of speed and then to have a look at what's actually in uh, this uh, linear model object that's been made. We use a summary function and it gives us our information. So, a little summary on the residuals. Uh, we've got our intercept, negative 17. We've got our slope, 3.9. So, each additional unit of speed is increasing our stopping distance by 3.9 units. And we can see very small p value. So, the e is the scientific notation. So, 10 to the minus 12 times 1.49, so very small p-value, we can see it's significant. Uh, reasonable adjusted R squared, um, so we'd be fairly happy with this. Uh, we can also plot this onto our graph. So there's a few different ways we can go about doing this. If we have a look at what's contained in this uh, reg model object that I made, uh, it's got coefficients, residuals, effects, rank, uh, fitted values, so it's got a whole lot of different stuff uh, and so if we wanted to get our fitted values nice easy way is just to go dollars fitted values uh, but we could also make them manually we've got the coefficients in here so we could actually just set up some x values and multiply out negative 17.57 plus 3.9 times all of the different x values and it would give me some points to be able to plot my line so if we just go lines and speed and fitted values and we go have a look at our graph and we can see that it's plotted a line uh, of our fitted values and it looks like it's a pretty reasonable fit so I think we'd be pretty happy with that uh, if we were doing a regression model and we had uh, multiple regression, we wanted to add more variables, exactly the same, and we would be just whatever our next variable and next variable and so on. So we would just add on whatever additional variables we wanted uh, with a plus sign. Uh, if we wanted to get any kind of uh, interactions in there as well, then the times would give us our interactions. Uh, and if we had any uh, categorical variables that we wanted to fit in there, uh, then what we can do with those is we just have a, um, that'll be a factor, um, and so we just type them in just as we would with any others, um, and if we wanted to include any transformation, uh, so let's suppose that we wanted uh, speed, but we also wanted uh, speed squared. Um, we include a capital I in there, and we could have speed squared. Uh, so if we wanted something that wasn't was uh, non-linear, if we're putting other functions in there, like a squares and cubes and so on, uh, we put that inside a um, function, capital I function, um, and that allows us to put the polynomial terms in there as well. Uh, if we did have categorical, either we'd make it a factor inside, um, or we could have made it a factor earlier on and then added it, and either of those would work perfectly well. This has been a Swinburne production.